thank you. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is marketing automation and how we can get some success from marketing automation. Sorry, bear with me. Uh, okay, so our company was formed in 2001. We're an inbound marketing agency, so we do a lot of digital marketing for people with the sole prospect, with the, the objective of developing leads and the sales for people. So one thing we're doing today is we're managing Twitter for this event, and we're trending number one, so we're pretty happy that we've done a, a, an okay job on that today. Thank you. Uh, so what is inbound marketing? Inbound marketing is involving all the elements of digital marketing to develop top of the funnel and also to nurture leads right through the sales process. This is a, an example of a report that we get every morning uh, as we're using our own marketing automation system and it tells us the number of leads that we're generating, the number of opportunities and the number of visitors we're getting on our website. So last September, 12 months, or 12 months ago we started to use this system and now we're developing way more leads, way more opportunities and way more visitors from developing the system, from using the system. So what is marketing automation? And marketing automation is a piece of software and the software is used to develop a sales and marketing disciplined approach to what you're doing. And this helps you develop more leads and also to nurture more sales. Marketing automation helps you generate leads by anon uh, identifying anonymous lead, anonymous web visitors and capturing their details so that you don't have to do it. So we were talking earlier about networking, collecting business cards. What we want to do is do this digi digitally. What we also want to do is increase the number of qualified leads. The disadvantages of networking, the disadvantages of general business in general, is we tend to meet an awful lot of people who are no, of no value to us. And when I say they're no value, they're of no value to us now because they're not ready to buy from us now. Either they don't have the budget, they don't have the right headspace for it, they don't have a need for it. And what we want to do is use marketing automation to bring those people down through the sales funnel so that at a later stage we can drive more sales and develop sales-ready leads for salespeople. So the usual comment we get when we use marketing automation is that sales and marketing are now more aligned. What happens is with salespeople is they go, we're not getting enough leads, and marketing is saying, we're generating loads of leads for you, why can't you just convert them? Using marketing automation helps align both of those so that salespeople know the quality of the leads and marketing people know to deliver the right quality of leads. It also helps you improve your upselling and your cross-selling. And the situation that most companies have is they're selling one or two products a lot. There's an 80-20 rule and they can sell other products. And just because someone doesn't want to buy product A doesn't mean they can't buy something else from you. Again, marketing automation allows you upsell and cross-sell. What also can happen, if you use a system correctly and you put in all your statistics and all your detail, you can develop a very, very uh, good model that matches with your business model of the activity that's working and what's giving you the proper results that your company objectives are looking for. So you set your goals and you measure along the way and having a system which is a marketing automation system allows you to ensure that you're getting a return on your investment. So as an example, we all like BMWs. There's various different kinds of BMWs. If you're interested in the 3 Series, or you're interested in a particular brand of 3 Series, what marketing automation will do, if all of you visit a BMW site, you're interested in the 3 Series, you're interested in the 4 Series, the 5 Series, the 6 Series, and so on. What marketing automation will do is it will send you information of the 3 Series. It won't send you information of the 5 Series, because you're not interested in that. So it personalizes the email each time based on your preferences on what you're doing on the website. So what's in your way for doing this? The roadblocks for developing a successful marketing plan using something like marketing automation. There's a few things. That there's always big gaps with the follow-up with salespeople. Salespeople are really, really anxious to deal with leads that are ready to go now. They don't really want to spend time nurturing people, making calls and saying, so you're not really interested in buying now, 
I'll talk to you in a few months' time. That's a waste of time for a salesperson. A salesperson wants to close leads, not deal with leads. There are leaks in your pipeline. You're developing leads all the time, but you're not identifying those. Most companies treat leads all the same. The idea is, with a system, that you can lead score your leads so that you know where they're coming from. You can then target them with your messaging, and as you begin to nurture them, they move closer and closer down to the sales-ready position that the salesperson can say, that's exactly the lead I want, let me just close that. We don't know what tactics are driving revenue. And the reason we don't know what tactics are driving revenue is because we're just doing. We're doing, doing, doing. And most marketing companies spend an awful lot of time just doing, putting out ads, going to exhibitions, and saying, yeah, we're getting leads, and we're developing something, we're developing awareness, but they're not, le they're, the, the, result, the results aren't being tied back to sales and the revenue that's been generated. So if you're not having enough leads to feed the sales funnel, that's a different stage, and this is a lead generation stage. It's possible to get more leads, as it always is, and the majority of marketing companies spend all their time generating new leads. Generating new leads is good, but you know something? You probably have quite a lot of leads already that if you nurture more and, got, and I suppose, sweat them more, you will get more out of the existing leads by nurturing and developing more aspects of how you can sell to them. It's not easy to qualify leads, um, so if you can qualify them from an automated point of view, it's an awful lot easier. Salespeople don't like to qualify leads because it takes so long, and you have to ask them a whole sort of questions, and you have to do needs analysis. A lot of salespeople would prefer to be order takers than actually going through the process of discovery, needs analysis, and so on. So they want marketing to produce qualified leads to them, people who want to buy the product and want it now and have a budget. So there's a phrase there that only 20% to 7% of leads are sent directly to sales or qualified. And there's various statistics that happen on this. And if you're from a company that has a lot of salespeople, you'll be familiar with the kind of frustrations that are out there. So what we want to try and do with companies is help generate the leads, help drive the sales, measure the ROI by optimizing the campaign. By optimizing the campaign, we mean we look at all the elements of the campaign, make sure that each element is individually working. If it's working, we do more. If it's not working, we fix it. So to go through the different roadblocks that you have and things that are stopping you, is we want to fill our sales funnel by using great content. If you have content that educates your user or your buyer, what happens then is you become a trusted expert. Once you're a trusted expert, you will develop more sales because people want to engage with you. And the reason they want to engage with you is because they trust you. Once they trust you, they're going to buy from you and they see you as an expert. What you want to also do is identify who's interested in your sales and who's interested in what you're talking about. If you know who's interested, you can sell them more. So I can talk to the guys about the 3 Series BMW and not bombard them with information on the 5 Series BMW. We want to instantly notify salespeople when leads are qualified. And this goes down to lead scoring. And any of you that are using a CRM system would be familiar with this. Because if you can lead score based on things that happen during the sales process, what that allows you to do is you can then see who is interested in what and are they ready. And if you can trigger it that salespeople are then informed, we have a sales ready lead, pick up the phone, call that guy, it's where he's ready to go. It makes sales an awful lot easier. I'm just going to flick through some of these. So this is something that we were used to, is Google Analytics, those of you who are familiar with it. And Google Analytics is great, it tells you lots of information, but it doesn't tell you enough. It doesn't tell you who is doing things. It just gives you numbers. We have 50 people who do this, 40 people who do that, but we don't know who those people are. We've also used MailChimp, and it tells us how many people open. And unfortunately, that's all it tells us. With marketing automation, we can tell everything about Joe. This is what we call the life of the lead. We can see absolutely every single time he's interacted with us. When he's come on our website, what he's looked at, we score each one of those. All, any emails that we send him, which emails that he's opened, which ones have resonated with him, and which ones have led him to do certain behaviors. 
We then lead score people. The higher the lead score, the more sales ready it is. We then can get reports from our system which will allow us to see which, which campaigns are performing better than others. And they're performing at different levels. We can see that they're performing from a sales point of view. We can see that they're performing from a campaign point of view, from a media point of view. We can see that they're performing from a time of year or exactly what, what activity we're carried out with. So this gives us a much more information back on how we know what's working and what's not working so that we can improve it. So the key benefits of marketing automation from ourselves is that we can send a personalized customer experience. So we're sending the right information to the right people at the right time. And this is really important because that develops trust and also it doesn't annoy people. We can manage the campaigns. We can use time more efficiently. We can also establish a presence across multiple channels, such as Twitter, email, other kinds of social media, website, and so on. We can personalize content on websites as well. I'm sure some of you have used Amazon, and they will personalize the content as you're going through. Um, we can generate more leads, but more importantly is develop, help your salespeople develop more sales, because your salespeople need help developing more sales. So why don't you do it? Because you don't have the time. You don't have the resources, you don't have the know-how. You sort of have an idea of what's happening, but you're not fully sure on how to proceed with that. So what we want to do is offer you two programs. Um, is the Evolve program, where we train and coach an in-house person within your company to run the system, or we have the Elevate program, where we do it all. And what we do for that is we do your inbound marketing as well as setting up your marketing automation and working your sales and marketing system. Whichever situation you have is how this will work with you. And that's my talk. We're at a stand just around the corner and uh, we welcome any questions.